Okay, next thing we're going to do on this website that I've been building here is we're going to add images into our media library that we can use to populate the website. So, as we've seen already, we have the header, we've got our image here this we already did add as an image and we've got a strip here and we've got the footer down here we're going to be adding a picture a main picture here so to add pictures we want to go over we can do two things we're going to go either into media you can go into here and add in site files here you can upload your media here or my preference is to add elements and go into image and go into my image uploads you can do it either way doesn't matter it's just what I'm used to so I'm gonna put me over here and I already maybe over here I already added the logos in here and I'm going to make myself smaller so we can really see this screen. I'm going to do a couple of things. First thing I'm going to do is I want to put all these logos in a file. I just added them on into our site files. So I'm going to make file folder and I'm going to put logos here. And then I'm just going to drop all of these logos into that folder. and the folders all will stay at the top of the screen here and any more pictures you put in here will you know go down the folders always stay at the top so we've got site files that you put in yourself upload yourself you've got boards which is a way to uh, share files amongst different websites that you're building in your Wix account. You share, you can't share boards with different Wix accounts, but if you're building two sites and you want to use a lot of the same pictures, you can share the pictures that way. Trash, these are two logos that I didn't like for one reason or another, and then I put them into trash. And they'll stay in there so you can go find stuff you've put in your trash. Media from Wix is a huge library of images that you can search up here like um, school and it will just show you tons and tons and tons of pictures and you can try you know different different words to search Shutterstock same thing and Shutterstock pictures though I will mention you have to pay $2.99 to use them and Unsplash images are free and they're awesome. They're, they're beautiful pictures in here. The Shutterstock pictures, the difference between them. Wix is very stock looking, very curated looking. And Shutterstock is a lot like that too. Unsplash is a little more real looking because it's just photographers, you know, um, around the world putting their pictures up for use to kind of get their name out there really. So you can find kind of more raw, real looking images in Shutterstock than you might be able to find in Wix, which looks a little more staged. Just as beautiful though, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for and what your website needs. So there's a place where you can find anything. So we're not going to use those because this is a photographer's website. So we're going to upload her pictures. So I'm going to go into site files. I'm going to go into upload media and I have choices here. I can upload from the computer. I can just drag and drop things into here. If I've got something on the desktop or, or if I've got the finder open, I'm on a Mac, so I have finder. And then there are places where you can upload from. I have no idea what dribble is. I know what DeviantArt is in the other places, Google Photos, Dropbox, Instagram, Facebook, Google Drive, all these other places. And I am going to upload from Dropbox here. 
All right, I signed into my Dropbox files and we're going to go over into here. And here are all the pictures that uh, the photographer sent me. And here's the file of the pictures that I have compressed. Um, I will put a link down below. There is another video where I show you how to compress pictures. So I'm gonna open up this file and I'm going to take everything in this file and upload it. And we'll just pause for a moment while I do that because there are 118 pictures in this file. So hang on. We have our uploads completed here. That didn't take very long. They uploaded pretty quickly because I had compressed them already. So if I click on one of them and I go into file info over here, it tells how big the file is. This is how, how many bytes the file is. And this is how many pixels the resolution is. So I've got really high resolution for these pictures, but I've compressed them. So they take up less space and load faster, but their resolution is still great got tons of pictures here so next I'm going to choose a picture I'm going to close this for a moment so we've uploaded all those pictures and I want to choose a picture that's going to be the main picture that people see when they open the website so instead of putting a picture on the back of this section I'm going to add a strip and put a picture on the back of the strip so I'm going to add element and I'm going to add a strip and I'm going to add a plain white strip doesn't matter could be any could be black could be white whatever because I'm going to put something on the back of it I'm dragging this section down because I want the picture to be about this big and I'm going to put the strip at the top and I'm going to drag the strip down so it's big and then where I have changed strip background, I'm going to, I can change the color of the strip here, make it any color I want. I could make it white right now, it's off-white. It's always this kind of off-white color that's down here. So you can see where, I used to be like, why didn't they make it just white? Because I'm always changing it to white, but it's so you can see it. Um, I can also do things like use gradients, but we'll talk about that another day. So I could make it blue and then change the gradients. But we'll talk about that another day. I wanna show you everything all at once. <laughs> all the <t> but the video would be like a million years long. And this is getting long as it is. Anyway, so we're gonna go into image <laughs> and and the images that we have in our site files are, some of them are portrait and some of them are landscape. And as you saw on the website, I'm trying to fill a landscape site. So I wanna choose one of the ones I think that are long and narrow horizontally. And I know what some of her most popular photographs are, and this is one of them. So I'm gonna try this one first and see how that fits. Now this picture is landscape sized, but it's also pretty tall, so we'll see how that looks. So we are missing some, like to really show that whole picture, I would kind of have to do one of two things. I could drag that down and make it bigger that way. Still not showing the whole thing. I could also, here's the strip, and if I, the strip is stretched all the way to, from side to side, I could also make the margins come in, which I might do to start with, and that would also change the way the picture shows. So that's not bad but I don't really want the picture to be that big. I don't really kind of want it to go from side to side. So I'm gonna play around with that a little bit. Um, stretch it back out. 
another thing that I could do is I can change the scroll effect so I could make it parallax and people really like parallax first of all let me do one thing the background I've got as this bright blue because I was playing with that bright blue color and that's gonna drive me nuts okay what I just did was there's a color behind this picture there always is right now there's a white behind it so if I went into where the site background is and went into settings you know I can change the opacity of this image I can change the color behind the background and where it's positioned but I'll talk about this another time so there we have it right now and let's go back into images and see if we can find one that really fits well in there how about this one well let me think let's see what else there is they're all pretty but I want one that's really long and skinny beach bench is really long and skinny um, intrepid sandpiper let's try the sandpiper here and I had been talking about uh, the scroll effect but I never showed that to you so I will I put that on parallax as I told you but then I got sidetracked so I'm going to go into preview and see what's going to happen when when this moves it, it, you can't really tell right now because we can't scroll down the page there's no page to scroll down but but the photograph moves when you move it it just doesn't I'll just go back inside and take that off whoops not that and take the scroll effect off and then when I preview it if I go down the site the picture just goes up it doesn't it just sits still now this is kind of cool the only thing I don't like about this is the bird is not centered and so that's gonna drive me crazy and so I'm gonna keep playing around with this until I find a picture that I love to be front and center and then we'll move on to the next thing all right so we know how to upload pictures we know how to add a strip over a section and how to change the background of the strip with a picture or a color. Okay, see you next time.